and welcome to another video. Um, I'm back camping. Um, if you're local to the area, you might recognise where I am. Um, I've been here before, but I've never been here before. Um, we're going up there. It is currently spitting. I'm a little bit wet from the ride. Um, yeah. This is going to be my first Dartmoor camp, like actually on a tour um, since something like 2007. So, um, and that wasn't very enjoyable. But um, anyway, we haven't got much light, so it's time to get the stuff off the bike. That weighs nearly as much as the bike. Um, but yeah, no light, so we need to go. Woohoo! This is 29.8 eight kilograms without the helmet. Right, that's the bag on. Let's go. Hill. We march on. Oh, God, it's slippery. Ugh. You'll see why this pack is so heavy in a minute. And 100% worth the pain. It's all about the camp, not the walk. You hikers are weird. It's all about setting up camp, getting food on, enjoying the great outdoors, not walking up hills like this, this isn't fun. Camping's fun. Whew. Right, I'll pick you this back up when we get to the top of the hill and uh, I found somewhere suitable to camp because this is it's not a good, not a good sound right now. Whew. Right, let's do that. Whew. What about this for a spot? This will do. That's probably better spots over there, but it's 30 kilograms and I'm done. I just want to set up, it's getting dark, and um, wait till you see what I've got for dinner. Woo! Mwah. OEX Hyena on Dartmoor with high winds. I mean, it's low now, but um, if I look at the forecast, it's going to be high, lots of wind later um, and some rain in the night. But I think tonight, before I go to bed, it will be quite, quite wet. So we're going to see what this puppy can do. So we're now set up. It's too dark to show you around the outside of the tent. Um, but if we go over here. Whoa. You can see the hyena. Um, I've also got the expedition tarp up and running. Um, reason being is because I'm going to be cooking tonight and uh, I need the extra space. Um, this is perfectly fine just to cook in the porch if you're doing uh, like an MRE or reconstitute the meal or something like that. Um, but I'm going a bit extra. So, should we just get cooking? Yeah, let's go. So today, we are cooking steak. Let's get the seasoning on the go. Let's have a quick swig of beer first. Normally I would pat down the steak and make it a bit drier first and get all some of those juices off. Um, but I don't have anything to do that with. So which bit straight off. Got pepper all over me. <laughs> right, that's seasoned. Put that to one side and we shall get the Trangier going.
Come on. Okay, we've got a little bit of burnt butter, but I was expecting that because I didn't have any oil, so I had to use, I had to use butter. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> so to tell how you want your steak done, you use the side of your thumb here, so everything from that line backwards. Um, if you like your ste steak uh, well done, ugh, it's here. If you like it medium rare, it's here. And if you like it rare, it's here. So how squidgy that is, correlates to the steak. So it's nice and rare at the moment. I don't want to cook it too much because I'm going to let it rest for a bit, come back and do the veg, and then I'm going to um, just stick it on for two more seconds just to give it a quick blast to heat it back up again. Yeah, we're getting there a bit too quickly. So right, I'm gonna take this off. Let's quickly sear the sides. Right, that's good enough. We'll put that to one side. I might have overdone it a little bit. Well, no. <laughs> In with the asparagus. Got a nice little extra. I don't actually like Prosecco, um, but we've got to put something with the, uh, the asparagus just to make it pop that little bit extra. That better be a real cork. What is this? No! Prosecco. Woohoo! Whoa, that'll get you pissed. Right, that's not what I'm drinking. I'm drinking the good stuff. If you like Brewdog, um, Aldi's version, anti-establishment. Is that meant to mean punk? Um, it's very, very good. And it's cheap as well. Right, they look done. And a little bit of mashed potato. Right, I'm going to be back in a second. Um, the wind's picked well, it's just died now, but the wind has really picked up, um, and the tarp might collapse. Right, that should be better. Oh! <laughs> wow! Look at this! Oh! I'm up on a tour on Dartmoor in the rain and I've got this have I overcooked it? yeah I've overcooked it oh no <laughs> oh no that's still, that's still good Ooh. oh wow Very nice crispy on the outside. It's very soft and tender in the middle. Mm. Right, so I'm going to enjoy this in peace without you being nosy. Um, also, I've had comments about people complaining about me eating. Um, 
but I'm not going to be able to talk whilst eating this because it's just fantastic. The, the crisp on the outside of the steak and the flavour that I've trapped in there is like, oh, 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 I'm looking forward to it. It's starting to get cold, it's starting to get a bit windy, but I'll put this back up after I've eaten and then we've got something to talk about. So, we've retreated to the tent. Um, it's got really windy now. I've, uh, I've put all the pegs that the OEX tarp has to offer out. I haven't guyed out the tent because I want to see how it copes without the guy lines. I don't normally use guy lines. In this situation might be a bit extreme to not use guy lines. Um, but if it does get a bit hectic, I can just go outside and put more pegs down. Um, so currently as it stands, there's only one, two, three, four, five pegs in the in the tent at the moment. Um, and it's only five and not four. It's only five and not four because of the way the door is. So that little bit there needs to be pegged out and you come through this side bit here. Um, but uh, yes, I wanted to talk about something tonight, but I'm going to save that for the morning um, when we can walk around the tent and look at the setup and, and we can and we talk about things a little bit clearer instead of just being stuck inside the tent. Um, but yeah, so stick around for that. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening, have a few beers, watch a bit of YouTube, and then uh, I'll be hitting a snack. Um, oh, actually, let's just talk about my setup quickly. I have... Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh. There we go, right. I have the British Army Arctic sleeping bag with the British Army Gore-Tex bivy bag over the top. Um, that's gonna, 100%, that's gonna be able to keep me warm tonight. I didn't really need the, uh, the bivy over the outside, but I don't wanna risk it. It's my first time on Dartmoor since like 2007, 2008. Um, so I don't know what to expect fully. It's a bit windy. Um, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll pick this back up in, in the morning. Morning. Oh. Still standing. I was using my boots to my drinks, now I don't have to do. Well, it is the morning, and uh, I survived. And the weather was pretty bad last night. Um, I had a really bad night's sleep. No fault of the tent, um, but my sleeping mat leaked, um, and it's not my normal self-inflating one. So uh, it's just, it's just an inflating one. So I slept on the floor the whole night. Um, I think at about half past three in the morning something was definitely was definitely outside my tent um, I could hear at first sounded like human footsteps up here um, and uh, then my my ears pricked up and um, once that happened, every noise was something outside. 
place to be. And this tent, for the money, you, can, you cannot beat it. As you can see, I didn't put the guy lines out. Didn't even put the, uh, the middle cards out. Is there something in there, is there? Somewhere? I don't know. I mean, I probably should have put the guy lines out. But it survived anyway. So, basically, what I wanted to talk to you about was meant to be last night. Actually, it wasn't last night because this is now 2024. The video that you just watched was filmed in Storm Babbitt in 2023. Um, don't ask. But basically, I wanted to do a giveaway of the tent that you just saw me use up on the tour in those high winds. So, to get rid of all the scammers, I am not going to uh, reply to the winner in this video. I want you to write a the best comment, the best reason why you should win the tent, and then I'm going to do a separate YouTube short after this video goes live, once I've picked a winner, and then I'm gonna get you to contact me and then that stops all the, the scammers. If anybody gets contacted by someone that has my name and WhatsApp and call this number, that's not the way it's going to do. Uh, that's not the way it's, um, I'm going to do it. Um, you're just going to get scammed. You're going to lose money. Don't go there. Do not <laughs> accept any scammers' requests. Um, but yeah, if you want to win the tent, leave a comment below and uh, I'll see you in the YouTube short. Also, um, there's not going to be any more motorbike videos on this channel. If you want to see motorbike videos, you'll have to go to the, the channel named Curious Goose Moto. Camping will be on Curious Goose and motorbike stuff will be on Curious Goose Moto.